Michelangelo Bonarati, who lived between 1475 and 1564, was a Renaissance man. This was a deserved title because he was a sculptor, painter, architect, poet, and engineer. Although born in Caprese in the Italian region of Tuscany, Michelangelo was raised in Florence. Upon the death of his mother when he was six years old, Michelangelo was sent to live with a stonecutter in his family, where his interest in sculpting peaked. His father also enrolled him in an academic academy. However, he showed little interest in his school subjects. Thus, at the age of 13, he was apprenticed to a painter. His works were seen by Lorenzo de' Medici, a wealthy Italian who had established a humanist academy, which Michelangelo enrolled. While there, he studied anatomy and corpses at a church hospital. He was intrigued with the muscular structure of the human body. In 1494, he was invited to live in the court of the Medici family. It was through their patronage his artistic talent became known. Two years later, he moved to Rome, and in 1505, Pope Julius II commissioned him to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. The paintings consist of 300 figures depicting the nine books of Genesis in three groups. First, there is the creation of earth. Second, God's creation of man and man's fall. And lastly, humanity as represented by Noah and his family. His personal style marked the beginning of ma mannerism, the experimental art style that followed the High Renaissance. Michelangelo envisioned art in a slab of marble, that is a figure just waiting to escape. While in his 20s, he sculpted the Pietà, the mother of Jesus, holding her son's dead body. This piece in his statue of David, which stands 18 feet tall, captivated the muscular structure of the human body. Finally, at the age of 74, he was commissioned as the major architect for St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. His major contribution was the creation of the massive dome with its impressive carvings of biblical forms. He truly deserved the title given him by his contemporaries, El Divino, the Divine One.